Well, hello there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frost Gaiman. Uh, we're here back on Tahiton, Tahiton County, Iowa. We did it yesterday for the first time, and this is episode number two. Back to back, farming in Iowa, American style, medium to large scale farming operations up here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing splendid. We have Duane Baker first in the chat. Uh, Chris Smith, hello. Kevin Wilson, John McKinley, hola. Uh, Jeremy Green, Isaac Refield, Mr. Fireslaying, hello. Hope all is well with you. Uh, Dave Wally, Duane, Chad Carlson, Thomas Madison, Adam Groves, Brendan Eichmeyer, Kevin Grant, Donald Everett, Kendall Yoder, Dude David, Justin Vanderford, hello, Frosty and Chad. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I'm having a splendid day, Mr. Vanderford. Getting ready to get a load of soybean. Plenty of soybean on, on this map uh, starting out. Holy cow. It was soybean season, and it's just all over the place. But yeah, we'll have enough soybean for uh, many, many moons. Oh, it's glitching out a little bit, huh? Ugh. Ugh. It's looking a little scary. Why does it look all funny like that? There we go. Alright, we're only 48% full, so we don't have to uh, go empty this quite yet. So we'll let it sit here and let that harvester keep running. But uh, I hope everyone's doing well. What's up, Steven Alexander? Doug Barber, Aaron Leader, Waylon Timlick. Miss Fireslan, hello. Brian Lima. Uh, Sam says, don't forget to hit that like button. Yeah, thank you, sir. Elizabeth Sturdy, hello, Frosty. How are you all doing tonight? I'm doing quite well. Uh, FS Farmer C says, hello, hello. Right back at you. Dave Clan, hello. Rob H, I see you waving there. Hello. I just finished that big field next to the farm, says one st Oh, are you set up on the same farm I'm on? Isn't this a nice area? This farm's pretty awesome. So if anybody hasn't played on this map yet, there's like seven choices. Nice! That was a big boom. What was that for? A new member, Frank Hammond, uh, resubmitting his membership, says Happy New Year, love the streams, four month anniversary for Frank Hammond. Thank you very much. Uh, we also got Kevin Grant coming in with the third ever super chat on a live stream, and this is a big 20 bomb. Thank you, Kevin Grant. Isn't that cool? Now they're keeping track of how many each person sends. <laughs> Ooh, how are they gonna keep track of Kevin Flores? Oh man, I don't think they I don't think they can. Woo! Is that loud? That might be too loud. One second. That was pretty loud. I didn't mean to uh, blow everybody's eardrums out. Was that too loud? Let me s put it at 14. There we go. I think I was messing with my volumes today and forgot to uh, put them back to where they usually are. Uh, what's up, Ice Dragon? I'm doing good, Brian. I'm doing Thank good. Thank you. Aaron Ringling, hello. Says, hello, Frosty. It's been a very long time. It doesn't feel that long. Uh, Joe Boyer, good evening. All right, so... We got our truck over here that needs refilled, which it's almost already filled. It just needs a little more added to the rear end there. Because we're going to end up taking another load to the piggies at some point tonight. So I'm just going to go underneath the silo and top this off. So it's a full load ready to rock and roll later tonight. But I hope everyone's having a splendid, what are we on? Hump day. It's hump day. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing just splendid. Uh, how do I put that pipe down? There's got to be a way. Uh, I'll pipe in. There we go. I didn't want to smack the, uh, you know, you don't want to smack the building with it. 
All right, let's line that up right about there. And we're just going to top that off. And now we're at 100%. This trailer holds 36,000 liters. So we are good to go now. We're not going to quite Thank deliver you. this right away because we're not in a huge hurry to deliver it. I just wanted to get it preloaded. Just sit this out by the driveway here. Uh, Justin Vanderford also dropping a $20 super chat says, you are amazing. See, isn't that weird? It like keeps track of some people and some people it doesn't keep track of. The statistics are all wacky, aren't they? Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Vanderford. Appreciate you, daddy. Uh, thank you very much. Let me get my lights off here. All right, so we got a nice preload of soybean there uh, for the little piglets. The little piglets. Uh, I can't hear after that. What are you saying? Was that too loud? Yes. Hey, 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 WD. What's up, everyone? Hello. It's been a long day. This is Aaron. Hey, Frosty. What's up, Gene Edwards? What happened to the Massey? I never had a Massey on this this farm. We just started this series last night. Uh, hello, sir. You getting that corn finished? We're getting the corn finished, and we're going to do some of that anhydrous uh, fertilizing, cultivating tonight. Uh, so that's what's on the menu. And we're finishing that soybean field. I'm trying to knock out the soybean first so I can be done with it. Although there is one more little soybean field we have to uh, deal with. So, you know. Yeah, let's... Uh, harvester's probably ready to be unloaded again. She fills up quite fast. So we'll head over there and get another load. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see. Evening Frosty and Chad, hope you all had a good Christmas. Thank you, Mark Libby, I did. Uh, Frank Hammond also coming in with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you, Frank Hammond. Actually, that's a super sticker, my bad. Uh, thank you, Frank. Hello, N2TRBL. No, it wasn't loud, was it? What's that, huh? It's probably still too loud. Let me knock it knock it down one more notch. <laughs> eh, I like 14. You guys will just have to adjust your volume. It should be all right now. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, where'd the Starn Harvester go? Ooh, he's only got one swipe left. Is he going to be able to fit the rest of it in there? Ah, we might be all finished with this uh, massive fi This field was ginormous. I think he's on his final swipe. So that's actually a good thing. One more field knocked out. We'll just ride shotgun here. Boom. Uh, it's fine now. Sorry, must have been another video. No, you're good. It probably is a little louder than usual. Uh, Doug Barber also dropping a $20 super chat. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, Doug Barber says, hope you had a first class holiday season. Uh, so good to see you back. Farm and Frosty, loving your farm setup. Well, thank you, Doug. I do appreciate that. It's, it's a nice little map. I really do like it. It's not a, I shouldn't have said a nice little map. It's a nice, ginormous map. This map is nothing close to small. It is huge. So, uh, but I do like it. The detail is a phenomenal, super detailed, awesome map. Love the choo-choo train. It's got like a life-size, huge, not life-size, a realistic, I don't know how to, you know what I mean. It looks real. Uh, how do you donate via Super Chat? Uh, across, you just hit the little money symbol, but you do not have to do that. I never ask for it. You just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I uh, appreciate you being here. Anybody that's brand new, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're on a brand new map called Tahiton County. It's based in the state of Iowa, and this is episode two. We did episode one yesterday, so if you haven't watched it, you can always go back, watch the replay. Uh, but we are on episode two here tonight. Trying to finish up all the soybean. I got one more soybean field to do. And two or three corn fields we got to do. So lots more harvesting tonight. And like I said, we'll do some anhydrous cultivating. And we'll feed the pigs, get them some more food over there. Maybe transfer a crap load of soybean to store over at that farm. 
that'll kind of be their main food source for the hogs is going to be soybean uh, until I run out of soybean. So, yeah, you know, you know how, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Uh, but we're going to drive this bad boy all the way over to the next field. Which is uh, down yonder. Right next to the house, actually. Right over there by the power lines. And we'll get this worker hired and get ready to work. And then we can move over to finish up that cornfield we started. Uh, let me see here. We got Mr. Steerman bringing in a gifted Big Rig Frosty membership going to Dakota VFL. That is so... Why is everything so loud? What is going on here? It's never that loud. What is going on here? I don't know why it's so loud. I bumped it down a little more. But if I bump it down too much, then you can't hear nothing. There's like a sweet spot from here to the other level. It's just really hard to explain. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. All right, let me get this thing fired up. And we're just going to actually let's turn around. Do it the proper way. Do the perimeter of the field. <clears throat> I've been watching YouTube forever. Love your content. Thanks for your response. Well, thank you for watching, Cross. I really do appreciate it. We do get a lot of people that watch the, the after the live, depending on their schedule. So I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see here. Let's uh, get ourselves turned around so we're going along the fence. And then we'll hire the worker. This field's not very big at all. This is probably the one of the smallest fields I, I have here. All right, so we got that lined up. Now we can just make a little uh, setup here. We'll do one headland. That'll be plenty. Let the game save. Uh, generate. <clears throat> oh, crap. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Never mind. It's uh, it's identifying three sub. different fields as one field. That's not going to fly, bro. That's not going to fly. See, that ain't, that ain't real. I just wanted to do this section here. I screwed something up, and I think I know what I screwed up. Nope, nope, nope. All right, I'll show you what we need to do to fix that. <laughs> when I was uh, creating my own fields out of the big fields that were already here, I forgot to uh, fully paint. See, there's a piece of field here, so it thinks it's part of the other fields. I messed up, dang it. So we're just going to go right like that kind of square that off and that should fix the situation all right now let's see if it works yep see so now it's only identifying that one area it's all because of that one little piece of land i had sitting there so we will hit generate bada bing bada boom uh, first waypoint start. Slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. There we go. And everything was happy and hunky dory. How's that? How's that? Duane Baker, how, what do you think about that, Daddy? We got Duane also coming in with a gifted membership to Dakota Stevenson. So I think Dakota got one, and so did Dakota VFL. So both of the Dakotas got a gifted membership tonight. Uh, thank you very much, Duane Baker. We also got Jacob Nungstias' nice hat, sir. Thank you very much. See? The, it's an international hat. IH Harvester, baby. Uh, thank you, Jacob, for the 21-month anniversary. You crazy animal. All right, let's see if this guy goes around. Nice. See? That's a good hired worker right there. He knows exactly what I want. And I like that. 
I'm going to have to fix that other section of the field over there, too. Let's get that taken care of while I'm thinking about it. So we fix this little patch. Let's fix this little patch. That way I don't have to worry about it later when I forget about it. Because you know for sure that I'll forget about it. Alright, so there we go. That's all fixed. And everything's hunky-dory there. Alright, a lot of hunky-doriness going on. Beautiful. You're a jackwhacker, Joe. What's up, Metro Mike? I went shopping at Pleasant's today and got all his stuff. Again, says one stack. You got all his mods? Yeah, he's got... What's he got? <clears throat> he's got the harvesters, the headers, the 8,000 series tractor, 7,000 series tractor, the D21 Alice. He's got the calf barn, the old school big barn. Uh, he's got some buildings. Um, he's working on that corn dryer. I don't know if that's public yet, but it probably will be at some point. Yeah, he's got all kinds of good stuff. He's a good feller. He's a really nice guy. Uh, hey, Frosty Bosty, the ability to change lighting setting on the map, is that a mod or baked into the map only? That is what we were talking about in my Discord today. It's called Additional Game Settings. It's a mod, and you can get it on the Mod Hub. Additional Game Settings. And then it adds a little section in your menu for other settings and that's where you can change that yes sir uh but you can remember that all yeah sometimes i can remember stuff what's up rob morrow bradley simmons also coming in with the gifted big rig frosty game and membership this one's going to grumpy gray farmer and I don't think he's grumpy anymore after receiving a gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming membership. Now he's happy, Gray Farmer. Isn't that right, Grumpy? Are you happy now? Uh, what's up, Suzette Bartlett? Dave Klein, that's right. That's right, Daddy. What's up, Mia? Paul Joseph? Dakota Stevenson? Uh, who else we got in here? Clonkamo says, change your CP settings to prefer custom fields. Well, it, no, it's, it's because I literally had a piece of field. I didn't want that. Yeah, I, yeah, I know how to do it. It's all good clunking though. There was a little sliver of the field that was making it think there was another field. All right, so we got these going. We need to get that cornfield that we started finished. And then we got another cornfield and then another little cornfield. So plenty of corn to harvest tonight. Uh, I let these, uh, I had to do a little ma maintenance. One of the belts got jacked up. So I got that replaced. We got a new belt in there. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll and continue the corn harvesting, okay? Let's fire up. Get that all closed up. And finish our corn harvest. Everything's turning. It's, uh, it's 3.30 in the afternoon on an October day. We'll put the, the first setting of lights on. It is getting a little, it's a little dark out there, a little gloomy. All right, we're ready to go. Get her done. I got corn here, I got corn there, and I got corn over there, over by the shop. So we got plenty of corn, plenty. Uh, nice gleaner. That's a beautiful gleaner. You're wrong about that. What's up, Ronnie Gold? How's it going, buddy? Thank you, Bradley. Thank you, Duan Baker. Uh, crap. Bradley Simmons, Duan Baker, and Gumby. Thank you all three for those gifted memberships. I was trying to remember. Gumby was the first one that sent one. Appreciate you guys. Uh, let's see. Hello, stopping in for a short moment. I hope you had a good... Oh, had a splendid day, Tony. Splendid day, mate. You working right now. So we are going to start bailing some of this corn stock. Oh, crap. Oh, I need to turn my thing on. Nope. We got the straw swath going. It's You can barely see it. It's a corn stock swath. And I did start baling some of it already, and I I don't know what happened. This baler I have is filling up like crazy for one bale. I was like, what? I don't know. 
Maybe it's because I had it set on 180 or something, but it's like super packed. Uh oh, Gleaner got stuck. Gleaner got stuck. Let's get him unstuck. Nearest waypoint. Oh, come on. Am I going to have to do this myself, chat? I'll do it myself. You know what? I think I will do it. No, I'm not going to do it myself. But I'll hire a in-game AI to finish it. Now that we have a headland, should be fine. <clears throat> uh, nothing to explode. Corn. It has the juice. Corn. Ain't no doubt about it. It's got the juice. <laughs> What's up, Iron Kidder? Uh, at least this shift at work is going a lot better than the last shift. I heard you had some fires to put out on, what was it, the day after New Year's or New Year's Day, uh, Mr. Fireslain? I saw the photo you posted. All right, there we go. Can we get, look at all, oh my goodness, is that Scooter's workbench in the chat? Says, howdy everyone, I wish you all a healthy and prosperous 2024. Scooty, I missed you last night. We started our series here on Tahitian. This is episode two. Look at all the soybean we've harvested. It's like been a soybean party. This is finally the last soybean field I have to harvest. <clears throat> it's just the, the soybean field that keeps giving. But yeah, I think I think the hired worker can handle all that. I don't know. We'll come back to it if he gets stuck. But we got corn to do. <coughs> all right, a couple swipes here, and then we got to start on that big section over there. There we go. All right, is the Baylor the Mark Thor edition? He had two different kinds with 50. Yeah, I think I accidentally have the 50k one by accident, Mojo. Because it is, it's that, yeah, I think that's what happened. Because <laughs> I, I, I did, like, this whole field almost. And I only got, like, 55% full on the baler. It's like, what in the world is going on here? <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I accidentally uh, still had a Bronchima mod downloaded. I was like, why is this thing filling up ridiculously full? But uh, it was my own fault, I think. I wasn't paying attention when I was customizing the baler. <laughs> All right, so that field's finally finished. And I'll show you. <laughs> so, yeah, look at the bottom right. 23,450 liters, and it says it's 275% full. I don't know what's going on here. This thing's all jacked up. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there goes a bale. Well, I'll be darn. Oh, there's a cornstalk bale. I don't know what just happened there. Maybe it fixed itself. That was weird. You guys saw how it said 275% full, didn't you? It's not just me making stuff up. Uh, so anyways... I guess it's back to working again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right, so now it's making 10,000 liter bales, it looks like. Yeah, we got another uh, another Alice out here working. These swaths are almost impossible to see, chat. I'm having a hard time even seeing what the heck I'm doing here. If you look out in the distance, you can kind of see it. But it's it's kind of hard to see where the heck it's at. Uh, Nick DeBar coming in with the twenty dollar super chat as well. Says, "Well, hello there, good sir, Frosty." <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Hello, Nicholas. Happy New Year, Nicholas. weren't you you were here last night, weren't you? I don't know if you. Were, I think you were in here. I thought you were in here. But what do you think about those stock? Uh, corn stock bales. Is that what a corn stock bale really looks like, chat? I've never seen one. To me, it looks like a silage bale. Pretty close to one, anyway. 
All right, let's see how fast this thing fills up. That's weird. So, when I was setting the stream up today, I had this set to 180, the size of the bale, and I swear, I had like 23,000 liters and it was only at like 50% full. And while I was bailing, I changed it to 125. I was like, I want some smaller bales. I don't want these full ones, like, you know? So then I left, and then I reloaded the game, and we just fired this up, and then it just pooped the bale out and reset it back to 125 size, which is what I wanted to begin with. Any of that make sense? I don't know what's going on. I'm losing my mind. It's too early to lose my mind. Way too early. But uh, anyways, we're kind of doing some invisible bailing right now. It's very hard to see what we're doing. I apologize. But there is a little swath of corn stalks uh, that we're sucking up right now. We're vacuuming. <clears throat> that stuff's hard to see. I know it is, Ghost Slaughter. It's very hard. I have a hard time seeing to begin with. And this is, uh, this is a little hard on the eyes, bro. Am I doing something wrong? Am I supposed to do something else to make it easier to see? Or is it just a challenging thing to do here? Because, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of hard to do. <clears throat> I mean, if you look super, super close, you can kind of see what we're picking up. But not really. <laughs> not really. Very good. All right, so he's at 40%. Let's move this guy out of the way. There we go. All right, so 40%. I'm going to shut that down. I got a couple bales out of there. Not much. So that means that massive bale I made just completely vanished, which sucks because that was about half the field uh, that I had already bailed, and it kind of disappeared. <laughs> you need a real big wind rower. Oh, really? A real big one? Uh, good evening, Bruce Solter. How's it going, Ryan Moretz? Uh, hello, Jason. Tell Carter I say hello. You lost your mind. I did, Miss Firesland. Uh, they're not as tight as real life as they are, says Terry. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I wish they were a little higher, too, so I could see it. <clears throat> yeah, I thought you were, Nick. I thought you were. I believe he has his original bailers on his Discord. I had the same issue. Did you, Mojo? Yeah. Well, so now it seems like they're okay now that I changed the uh, size. So, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, we got two fields done of corn. <clears throat> now we have a little one next to the shop over there, which I might not even do because we have to, like, go a certain way to get to it. Uh, but I think we're going to tackle this big field over here at some point tonight. But first, let's unload the harvester. And we'll get more corn put into the uh, silo so it can be dried. Turns it into dry corn. There we go. Load it up. Beautiful. <clears throat> Andrew Saxon, hello. Now I think now I think my volume's too low. Yeah, we're gonna put it we're gonna keep it there. It might be a little too loud for some of you, but I think that's the perfect level right where we're at now. Alright, cool. So we've got about twenty eight thousand liters in the auger bin. Let's go throw that into the grain carts. Very nice. Whoa. Dexter, good evening. Uh, let me see. One stack Mac, did you figure out how to get the this to show up? So you can see how much is going in and all that good stuff. Did you figure it out like I uh, tried to explain in the Discord today? Alright, filled up one cart. 
Start filling up the other one right there. We use a flail mower and rake for corn stalks. Oh, yeah? It'd be nice. Yeah, because it's very hard to see. I didn't... Is there, is, does anybody know? Is there a better way to do it on farm sim? Or is this the only way to do it? Just bail it. Because the texture on the texture is just... It's very hard to see what the heck's going on, you know? All right, cool. Go get this corn. You know what? Let's get that harvester set up. We'll get a worker uh, going on that. And then uh, we won't have to worry about it for a while. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Let the game save. It saves it like every time you go into the menu because this map's so stinking huge. All right, so we're going to make a route for this one. Let's do two headlands this time. First waypoint. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck on anything. We'll come back to him in a little bit. We need to go get the uh, soybean out of the other harvester. I think our tractor's way down here. Yes, it is. There we go. Uh, what's up, Will Horton? Hello, Kevin Flores. Hello. Uh, hello, Dennis Giersch. Yeah, I got it. I thought it was a separate mod and couldn't find it. Okay, so you figured it out. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. These fields are stinking huge, huh? This, <laughs> believe it or not, if anybody hasn't seen this map, Everything, all these fields here were actually one gigantic field that I turned into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight? Three, four, five, six, seven. I turned one field into eight fields. This is about a hundred acres of uh, farming over here that I turned into eight fields. I had to. I just, it just, it's, it would have taken. Like, I did, even in a two-hour stream, two and a half hours last night, we didn't get all this done. This field's huge. It's too big. All right. So that's, that's why I have it all broken up. What map is this? Tahiton. Tahiton. It's based in Iowa. Tahiton County. Might not be able to fit all of it in the grain cart, but. Actually, we might. I don't know. Nah. No. We'll still have to get a little bit out of the harvester, but. There we go. Can fit 35,000 in that uh, auger bin. That's a lot of soybean right there. I have about four hours harvesting that big field today. I didn't. I know that's huge, isn't it? One stack, big. Because I harvested like three of these off stream before the first episode. Then last night we did like three, and then tonight we've done two. So that's eight. Yeah, eight fields. It's crazy. They're a little too big. A little too big. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, all this is going to go into the silo. We already preloaded the one truck to take over to the pigs. We're just going to fill these carts up. 
Maybe if you drove faster, it wouldn't seem as big. How's it going? Uh, one of the best... Oh, stop it, William. How's it going, buddy? I have about four hours. I read that, didn't I? Howdy, Frosty. I've heard only good things about you from Simulation Station. I thought I'd seen you in here before, Dal. Maybe that's because I always see you in his. Okay, so it's your first time visiting me. Well, I appreciate that and definitely appreciate uh, Mr. Simulation telling you to come check me out. That's awesome, buddy. Dal, thank you, and welcome to the show. Welcome to the community. We got, we got some weirdos in here, but that's okay. We're all kind of weird in our own way. But, you know, just sit back, relax, enjoy. Um, this is my second episode live on Tahitian, uh, which I've been quite enjoying. Very pretty, detailed map. DR modding did an excellent job. Yeah, we're just kind of finishing the soybean and then starting on a corn harvest. So, yeah. Busy, busy. These fields are huge. So, All right, let's see if we can get unloaded here. That'll be the final load of soybean. Finally done. <clears throat> I think my hired worker quit on me. All right, just got a little smidgen in here. And that is it for the soybean harvest. We won't be doing any soybean for a while on this episode until, you know, the next, you know, next time we have some planted in and all that. But, yeah, whew, that took a while. That took a while. Uh, howdy, Frost and Chat. Are you liking this? I do like it. It's just big, you know. I had to kind of turn it into my own style of map, uh, my fields anyway. Uh, let's see. That big case pulling its weight. It is, Matt. It struggles a little bit, to be honest. You are your little special, Dennis, and that's okay. Simulation Station drinks a lot, though. Does he? Uh, how are you enjoying the... What's up, Simulation Station? I was just uh, telling Dal that I was happy that you uh, sent him over here to watch. I appreciate that, buddy. I'm doing splendid. Art underscore 85. Hello to you as well. I'll show you what I did, chat. Some of you saw it last night, but I'll show others. So, so on this map, field 144 is actually this. This is field 144. Because I like medium to large equipment. I like medium old school equipment. <laughs> this is my farm, pretty much. I turned one big field into eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, same over here with the the massive cornfield. This was all one cornfield. I turned it into one, two, three, four sections. And then this one's on the other side of the fence uh, next to the dealership. So that's the land I own. And then I also own this massive, bleh, this big mother here is a grass field. So... Did I make myself disappear? There I am. My bad. Uh, but this is a massive grass field here next to where the pigs live. Which is kind of inconvenient because anything that's grassland work will have to be done over here. And then wherever it goes, I haven't really got into the cows yet. I don't know where I'm going to go with the cows. I might make my own or I might utilize one of the cow farms that's already on the map. I don't know. There's a very cool cow farm right up this road. I don't know if it's up this road or maybe it's up this road. One of these roads has a very nice um, cow barn already. I'll probably end up using one of those in the future. Not tonight. Uh, that's that's a whole nother setup. Uh, but yeah. Yep. So that's what I had to do. <laughs> Uh, oh, sure, you see everyone else's pain, but mine, I see how it am. See, see. What's up, Frosty? New Year's brother, right back at you, Brandon Gossett. I drink a lot of coffee, says Sim. I don't drink any coffee. Can you believe that? I like the idea of splitting the big field into small... I had, I had to. Just like one stack, Max said, it took him four real hours to harvest that, this, this massive field out here. 
unbroken up, just left in one field. It took them about four hours. That's, it's big. It's very big. All right, there is one thing I forgot to buy, and that is a pressure washer. So we'll get our little $800 case old school pressure washer and shove it right over here, I guess. Actually, I should shove it somewhere not in the grass. Excuse me. That was a big burp. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's shove that right there, I guess. That'll work. All right, let's get this old gleaner sprayed off. She's looking a little cruddy. She worked hard, man. She did about 100 acres of soybean. She's tired. She needs sprayed down and thrown in the garage. <clears throat> there we go. Get the header cleaned off. And we'll be ready to get back onto the corn. Uh, and that was with the 45 foot head with the 45. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean, man. These aren't small fields at all. All right, so we're just going to drop the header over here and then back the harvester into the shed. She did a good job. The old Glaner got the job done, chap. And she should fit right back where she was, right back here in the corner. There we go. That'll work for me. Beautiful. You are a good boy. Good job. All right. All done with that. Now it's time to get that final load out of the uh, chaser bin. And soybean is officially done. I think one of my favorite parts of this map so far is that stinking train. That train is awesome. The amount of cars on that, that is uh, super realistic. I love it. Really nice. Very detailed. Oh yeah, I already filled, did I already fill this? Yes, I did, dang it. All right, that's already full, so we'll throw the rest in the Brockway, the little truck over here. There we go. Beautiful. All right, feels good to get that all finished. And we're just going to drop the chaser bin right over here in the grass. Kind of out of the way. Nice. Get the old case put away. Done with that for now also. Uh, Frost, did your son do some fishing on vacation? Yes, we did. We did do some fishing. Yeah, he got to do some in uh, Ohio. Yep. Uh, we'll go. We'll go get a little maintenance done on this. We already put a good hour on it, so we'll just have it looked over. Make sure she's working in tip-top shape. Throw her in the gee rods here. There we go. Beautiful. All right, she was a good workhorse, wasn't she? Not too shabby. <clears throat> Ah, uh, that's an awesome game, uh, Brian. Who are you talking to? Frosty, have you ever played Hunter Call of the Wild? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I've got quite a few hours put into that game, actually. 
Let's see. Vision Rondhog. Hello. This is Philly Frosty and crew. Hello there, sir. Thanks for the sub. All right, I am running around like a like a man. You know what? Let's we'll we'll, we'll dump the uh, soybean after we get that harvester unloaded with the corn, because I'm sure he's ready to be unloaded. Yep. He's either stuck on a fence down there or he's ready to unload. I'm thinking he's stuck on a fence. This little fence has been a pain in the rear. Yeah, he's definitely stuck on a fence. Yep, 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 yep. I don't even need this fence here. I might end up deleting it. But yeah, he's totally stuck. <laughs> All right, let's get him unstuck. There we go. Uh, nearest waypoint. Get away from that fence. What do you think, chat? Should we take that fence out? I think I need to take that fence out. It's like not in the best spot. This whole time I've been running around doing stuff, he's probably been stuck on that fence for who knows how long. This fence has been a pain in the bote. Uh, besides FS22, what is your all-time favorite game? Probably Call of Duty. Yeah, I'd probably say Call of Duty. That's a game I could play f quite a bit. If if I didn't, if if Farm Sim didn't exist, I'd probably be heavily into Call of Duty, because I used to be before I was into the whole Farm Sim thing. Uh, hey Frosty, would you ever stream Call of the Wild again? I don't know. I don't know. Take that bad boy out. Take that bad boy out. I think I might. It's kind of pointless. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Let's stop talking about it and let's do it. It is a nice looking fence, but it's more of a pain in my, yeah. So yeah, let's get Thanks rid of for it. The sub. I'm taking the whole thing out, even over here. Although I do like that gate entrance. That's pretty cool. So we'll leave that there just for fun. And then I'll delete the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Removing some fencing, eh? Kind of hard to see, though, huh? Uh, we got First World Uno and EAK14 and Ed Horton all coming in as brand new subscribers to the channel. Thank you very much. Well, do you appreciate that? No, Gas Station Sim's not my all-time favorite game. That game makes me a little too flustered. Way too much going on in that game, especially when I did the the stream with the airport. That was that was brutal. Trying to run an airport and the gas station was near impossible. It's too much for my brain to uh, to just comprehend. I I couldn't do it. I got very flustered that night. Mm -hmm. All right. That fence is finally cleaned up and out of my way. Is there really a fence going along this way too? All right, that's fine. All right, where's this? Where the heck's this guy going? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. So he's at seventy-eight percent. We'll come back to him. We'll get him unloaded. He's probably about ready. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I missed that fence already. Isn't that a nice fence? You couldn't even see it, really. It was hiding in the bushes. How about train simulator? No. Uh, Frosty plays off stream. Don't let him fool you. Snow Runner is his all-time favorite. That's absolutely incorrect. That might be one of my least favorite ones of all time. There was a time I loved playing that, though. I'll be honest. I used to play the crap out of that. But I uh, had too many raging moments, so. All right, so he's got his beacons on. He's got to be getting close to full. We'll just kind of follow behind here until he's ready. 
Got the old challenger fired up. Oh, there he goes. He's empty. Or he's full. He's full. Look at the size of that pipe. I could have made that pipe even longer, but that's plenty long enough. You can make that thing, like, go out to who knows how far. Okay, what's going on here? Did I forget to change the setting on this guy? Probably. If we just block him. That's how you fix that situation. You just block him. <clears throat> there we go. Remember the fence. Yours was fun at first. Or ATS, he loves the can. Oh, Kansas map is so good. It's really good. Hmm. Fishing North Atlantic. I actually had a little stretch of happiness with that until I, I got a little upset on the, the last time we did it. We were doing the, uh, what were we doing? The clams. We were doing the dredging, and it wasn't working out too good, so I, I rage quit. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, what map is this? Uh, Tahiton. Tahiton County, Iowa. By DR Modding. It's for PC only. Uh, you'd have to get it from his itch.io website. We'll drive alongside of him for a minute. There we go. That should be enough in the bin to fill up the other cart on the Alice. And then we'll get that all transferred to the silo to be dried. And then we'll have some dried corn. We're holding on to all the dry corn until January. That's when the prices will be way better than they are right now. <clears throat> and then we'll make a very hefty chunk of money. We're over a million dollars in debt, and we've got about 37k on us. 27 of that is another loan. So, yeah, we're hurting financially. All right, there we go. Alrighty, laddie. Let's go get these emptied out. The old uh, D21 pulling some weight. Frosty, what do you think of harvesting 3 million liters of carrots at 12 miles per hour? Mm, no thanks. No thanks. Uh, what did you have for dinner? Anything good? I had a holiday pizza. It was just a pizza shaped like a Christmas tree. Yep. It was all right. <laughs> I forget where we got it. It was probably from Costco or something. Tight. This D21's got muscle chat. Don't let that little tractor fool you. This thing can pull just about anything. That's a lot of weight back there. 48,000 liters of corn. Oh, there goes the plane. I can actually see it tonight a little bit. Pretty cloudy. All right, let's switch to the first cart. go and get all that corn emptied it does take quite a long time to drain so we'll just go uh get the train set up we'll get everybody lined up to unload the soybean as well the old brockway Uh, about 7,500 liters in this. That was just the leftovers from the rest of the soybean harvest. And then we got two full carts of soybean. Uh, that'll be lined up to the unload. Still draining over there? Yep. <laughs> Takes a little bit. I kind of like the realism of the slow unloading. It's definitely not a, a quick process. 
takes a little bit takes a little bit of time for it to drain all right now we got the old uh confederate case hooked up to 31,000 liters of soybean yeah love it look at this little traffic jam of grain we got lined up here corn soybean it's a party Yeah. Beautiful. All right, did the first one drain? Finally. All right. <clears throat> Scoot up. Do the second cart. Come on, baby. What, did I miss it? Oh, dang it. <clears throat> did I overshoot it? Yes, I did. Ah, crap. Why'd you mess me up, Duan? All right, so we'll have to bring that through one more time. <clears throat> I was a little too far to the left. You got to be almost against the wall to drain that. Looking like an ADM granary here. You like that? Yeah, we'll have to go through there again. Got to get closer to the wall. There we go. A nice little party, though, isn't it? All right. This will unload a lot faster than the others. <clears throat> Dump it. You know, auto drive could unload the. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Ziga Lukak is back in the house. What's up, buddy? Jennifer Higginbottom. Hey, Frosty. This is Blaine. How are you? I'm doing all right, Blaine. I have a buddy I grew up with that has a tractor that looks exactly like that. Really? The Confederate one? Haha. <laughs> thing is sweet. I like it. Yeah, that thing's pretty cool. probably pretty much be done with this guy for now all right and uh on this map if anybody's curious if you're in the location i'm at if you want to dry the corn you have to fill up your propane tank with propane otherwise it'll just store it as regular corn if you're wanting to make more money get that corn dried by using the propane dried corn pays way better so definitely want to invest in the propane so you can make more money all right let's see here again we want to get real close to the right side of the wall make sure we got the right trailer selected there we go She drains at a very slow pace. Takes a little bit of time. Uh, David is back in the house. Hey, Frosty, nice Brockway. It's quite nice. It's not a Confederate case. It's the spirit of 76. Eh, whatever. Finally had a day off of work, and I spent all day on this map. You like it, Aaron? It's fun, isn't it? I like it, too. It is quite enjoyable. I call it the Confederate. That, that's got Confederate written all over it to me. I like it. But yeah, it is called the Spirit of 76. If we really want to get down to the facts and get all sophisticated like Scooter's workbench. Uh, propane and propane accessories. That's right. I'm having yummy, yummy, nice hot cross buns right now. Frosty reminds me of Eric Cartman when he talks like that. Mojo, did you have to buy the dryer on that land where the exclamation mark is? No. That's just... No. I mean, I own the, I, I, I ha, I own the land. You probably have to own the land for it to work. But yeah, I own the land. 
So it works as like a production, if that's what you mean. All right, let's pull forward and switch to the second cart. There we go. That'll take a minute to uh, unload. Let's go make sure the corn harvester doesn't need unloaded. <clears throat> Man, he's kicking butt over there. Darn. Oh, I think he just filled up. Yep, he's got a full grain tank. All right, so we'll get him uh, unloaded here. Look at that timing. He literally just got full. I just saw him stop. I'm going to block him so he can't move. There is a setting to change it, but I'll just block him. It's just as easy that way. Uh, hey, Frosty, once you put corn in there, you can't get it back out as corn. Only dry corn. I want dry corn. I want it to be dry because it pays more. And then I can go sell it at the ethanol plant. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Doc Dangles. America! Come on, daddy. That's right. Uh, too bad you can't open the second gate on the trailer. I know the it's not long. Uh, the unload zone's not long enough to have both carts empty at the same time. That'd be cool, though. I sent a super chat. Haven't seen it show. Hopefully it went through. Uh, it did not go through on my end, buddy. I haven't seen one pop up. Uh, the last one was from Nick DeBar about 40 minutes ago. $20 super chat from Nick. So I have not seen it go through, buddy. <clears throat> Uh, let me see. You know, you know, my old boss has that red, white, and blue tractor in real life, does he? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet, dude. Kind of like it. I'm going to park in between the swath here. All right. The harvester will keep going. We're knocking things out pretty darn good, baby. I ain't complaining. <clears throat> Where the heck am I? Like a maze in here. All right, he is empty. All right, all trailers empty. We'll get these guys parked out of the way this is actually a nice spot let's get the uh, pickup out of the way there we go simulation farms how you doing there buddy how's it going there's two gates on each trailer. Oh, the two gates, yeah. It only lets me do one at a time. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we'll park him right there. Kind of blocking the way. All right, and then we'll drop him right here. Perfect. Get this guy ready to unload his rear wagon. Try to line it up properly this time. I didn't get close enough last time. <clears throat> All right, right against the wall. Did window, did wow. There it is. There she goes. All right. Let that drain out. Wh why are the crows so loud? I don't know. <clears throat> I just have no idea. I'm sorry. I don't have the answers to that. There we go. Fresh and clean. Ain't nobody don't pass me. I'm so fresh, so clean. All right. 
Go park this up. Trying to clean up after myself as I go. <clears throat> Parking my museum of tractors here. I got all kinds of old school tractors. There we go. Lights off. Shut her down. Shut it down. Mr. Lewis coming in with the 19 months, ladies and gentlemen. Says, I swear it feels like much longer. But Happy New Year to you and your family. That is Mr. Isaiah Lewis. And I don't know why all of a sudden my music is blaring when I do those alerts. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Big Mike says, and welcome back. I hope your holidays were good. My holidays were splendid. How was yours, buddy? How was yours? Sounded like Reba singing. I got this wild hair that is just like almost hitting me in the eye. It's just like popping out of my beard and it's going upward. Anybody ever have that problem? How about the ladies in the house? Any of the ladies in the house? You ever have one of those wild hairs on your beard just almost pokey in the eye? Isn't that the worst? So, I, I just, it's, oh, it's still there. It's like, pop, I gotta get that out of there. <clears throat> All right, we're all empty. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We'll line these carts up uh, on the other side of the bulk silo. Look at that thing rolling coal. Nice! Uh, yeah, let's just drop these up here. Up here, out of the way. Good enough for me. Every once in a while, you need a magical wash. There you go. Saves a trip over to the pressure washer. All right, let's see. So fresh, so clean. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, we got cross. There, now it went through. There it goes, cross. Cross S with the $5 Super Chat says, let's celebrate their first Super on a live stream. Thank you, cross, for your first ever Super Chat. And then another one popped through. So now it's working for you, buddy. You just sent two in a row. I don't know if that was a mistake. But back-to-back uh, -back $5 Super Chats from Cross S. Uh, thank you, Cross. Very much appreciated. But uh, hopefully that wasn't an accident. I'm sorry if it double-charged you. Maybe maybe the first one didn't go through until you did the... I don't know. But thank you very much, buddy. I do appreciate you. <clears throat> Uh, can I points on mobile? Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, one stack has 19,650 corn kernels. Very nice. No mistake. Well, thank you very much, sir. I was just making sure. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, hey, Frosty, how's the farming going so far? I don't think I'm quite enjoying myself. I must say, it's not bad. I like it. We'll use the Brockway for the rest of the unloads on the corn. Because I just realized I put away the carts and we're still harvesting corn. <laughs> Forgot all about that. Thank you. And I think the harvester just finished the entire field. We got some little swipes here. I ain't doing that. I'm just going to run them over. I ain't going to drive around and harvest those little chunks. Just going to run them over and kill them. There we go. Beautiful. Look at all these uh, corn stalks we can bale. <clears throat> all right, last load of corn. That is the final chunk. That's Miss Frosty in there. We need to dismiss her. 
She's worked too hard for one day. Thank you. So that thank you very much, Cross. <clears throat> What'd Kevin say? I can't see with all those things going on. Jeez. One stack, no points. 15,000 for Duane. Uh, everybody putting their points in. 39 kernels for my Zeus. Hey, better than nothing. Tony Martig with 103,000 kernels. How many does Kevin have? Kevin Flores. Did he even put the alert in? Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. I want to see how many he's got. Kevin, put it in there. Just type in exclamation mark points, Kevin. I want to see. I want to see. How many points you up to, bro? But Tony, holy moly, Tony's got quite a bit. How do you get morning... How do you get morning kernels? What's up, Hunter Julian? How are you, buddy? Um, It just collects them. I think it's for, like, watch, watch time how long you watch me they add up over time i think i think that's how it works all right is there an easy way to get to that cornfield over by the shop because there's like a fence there too that would be my final cornfield if i can figure out how to get over there i might have to tear another fence down chat uh, yeah, we might be able to just cross, get onto the public roadway and make a quick turn. But yeah, there's one little chunk. Oh, it's right by the railroad tracks, too. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I own that little chunk of field. You know what? I ain't messing with driving all the way around. I don't think so, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's my property anyway. I can tear that fence down if I got to. There we go. Yeah. Ride him, cowboy. I might harvest this field myself. This is pretty little. Let's do this one ourselves, chap. What do you think? This shouldn't take too... Well, maybe not. It's pretty big. I'll probably hire a worker. <laughs> what do you think? Hire a worker? Yeah, it's pretty big. I forgot it went all the way down to the other edge. Yeah. That's too much work. That's way too much work for me. Uh, no course. It's little. It won't take too long. We'll do one headland. Generate. First waypoint. Slam, bam, thank you, bam. All right. So we'll let them keep doing that. And we got corn stalks to start bailing. Uh, we also got to get that last load. We need to get another load over to the pigs. Yeah, let's start uh, bailing. Bailing. We'll do some more bales. Get my bailing on. Get you, get you, get you. Uh, what mod removes fences? That's well, not a mod. That's just you go into construction mode and delete the fence. Unless it's like a hard modded fence. Sometimes you can't do all fences, but usually you can delete a fence. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. All right, where the heck is the swath at? Oh my gosh, chat. I can't see a darn thing. Whew. There it is. Holy crap. I can't, I, I can't even see what I'm doing right now. I have no idea where the swath is at. That is painful. Luckily, this thing has a ridiculous uh, width span on it, so it can do quite a large range. You don't have to be directly on the swath. But man, I can't see what I'm doing. All 
That's a little better from that angle. I can at least see the the line of the swath. Uh, we got we got a hallelujah from Kevin Flores dropping a five dollar super chat says PM Stream Labs at Kevin Flores. You have five hundred fifty one thousand seven hundred and eighty seven corn kernels. That's like the Corn Kernel Hall of Famer right there. I don't think anybody's, uh, I don't think anybody is close to beating that one. That's some uh, high corn kernelage. Guess I'm asking where it tells you what you have, says David. David, what's the points or kernel? I'm guess I'm asking where it tells you what you have. Yeah, I think it's just keeping track of how long you watch, I think. I don't even really know. I have horrible memory. I used to know, but I forgot. I'm sorry. I have the worst memory, uh, and I apologize for that. You know? Can't remember stuff. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Why couldn't they make it like a darker color or something? Something to stick out that I can actually see. Like, holy cow, bro. I can't say nothing. It hurt my eyes. It hurt my eyes, mama. I can't see. I think I'm scooping up something. I just can't really tell what it is. But it's something. I look like I'm driving around aimlessly. <clears throat> There you go. When the sun shines in a certain way, we can see it. And it's taken a while to get a bale out of here, too. I'll probably save these bales for some time down the road when we have cows. You can use the corn stalks as a TMR ingredient. <clears throat> so uh, You can't sell them for much. You can sell them, but you ain't going to get much back. So I'll probably just hold on to them. Seems like the uh, smart thing to do, right? Yeah, kind of painful. That really is hard on the eyes. Like, I'm having trouble. I'm having serious issues here. Seeing where the heck this is. <laughs> All right, I think it's comments and super chats, and is it a maybe it's a comment combination of everything? I, I have no idea. What's all planned for the farm tonight, says Stephen. Well, we already finished. Finally, we finished the soybean, so all the soybean is finally finished and harvested, and now we're finishing our final cornfield uh, way out in the distance, and I'm picking up the corn stalks, trying to. Ugh. Yeah, I'm picking up all the corn stalks and making bales out of it. And then uh, we'll go feed the cows. Or not the cows. I don't have any cows. Forget I said that. We're going to feed the pigs. We're going to take them another load of soybean. And then we're going to do some anhydrous application to some of those finished fields that we harvested. And start the whole... Uh, prepping process for whatever crop we put in some of those fields next in the future. <clears throat> it takes a while to make one bale. Holy cow. So you're not getting a whole lot of yield out of the swath. It's not like your normal straw swath for like weed or barley. The corn stalks is way less of a yield. But there you go. There comes another bale there. Almost. Still compacting. We got Hunter Julian. You crazy animal. Thank you. Coming in with a massive $50 super chat. That is Hunter Julian. Says first time, first live stream I've caught in a while. It is. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, I was gone for a while too. Uh, says Happy New Year and Merry Christmas, Frosty. A little late, but better late than never. 
Happy to be back watching. Thank you so much, buddy. And yeah, I was actually gone for, what, seven, eight days? And I had replays going so the live chat could hang out with each other. So, uh, yeah, I've been gone too, Hunter. Thank you very much for that massive super chat. Appreciate you, buddy. You can change the lighting if you have additional settings installed. Ooh, I could put that weird lighting on. Maybe that'll help. Good call, Scooter. I was just showing them last night the different lighting settings. I didn't even think uh, that might help us. It might not look as pretty, chat, but it might help us see the swath better to do what we're doing right now, and then I can switch it back afterwards. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. <clears throat> So let's see. See what the beaver hollow looks like. Ugh, still can't. Well, no. Western wild. Ooh, Western wilds. Yeah, it's about the same. And see, when you're looking at the sun, it's good. It's this way that I need help with. Sample folder, Elm Creek, Zilionka, Bales, that's all the same. That's all giants. Eastland, uh, New Jersey. We'll, we'll do that for a little bit. Still can't see it, but it's just the swath is so little. I can't, I don't think it matters what lighting we put on. It's still going to have trouble seeing it. Uh, but when we're facing the sun, we can see it way better. See, that's that's much better. There we go. <clears throat> uh, what mod is that, says JB Gaming? What mod? You talking about how I just changed the lighting? That's uh, additional game settings mod. That's on the mod hub for PC only. The, uh, the mod, in-game mod hub. Yep, yep. It's just when I turn around, bro. When I turn around, bro, I can't see it. There we go. And I have crop destruction on, so it's it's pressing down all the uh, corn stock as I'm driving over it. So that kind of helps at least see where the line's at. Yeah, going this way is great. Was worth a shot trying to adjust the lighting to see if it, it, it was. I tried my best. This, is, this isn't the uh, Tahitian setting, but I'll switch it back once we're done bailing. We'll switch it back to the other lighting. Uh, Scott Pentland also dropping a $10 super chat. Says, hey, Frosty. This map is cool. The sun lighting is amazing. It is, isn't it nice? It's the month. It's the month of October. It's nice and gloomy, and it almost looks like a storm's a brewing soon. Like the weather's gonna get kind of nasty. It's cloudy, but yeah, the uh, everything's cool about this map. Uh, some of you haven't got to see much of it tonight, but if you were here last night and watched the first episode, we drove around a little more and got to see. Uh, all the decorations. This map's got some pretty good detail to it. All right. Ring around the power line. Make you dizzy yet? Did I miss Kevin Flores? I think I did. Kevin Flores, sorry about that. No, I read yours. I read yours. You were saying how many corn kernels he had. So uh, thank you, Cross S, Kevin Flores, Hunter Julian. Thank you all for those uh, recent, and Scott Pentland, thank you all for the uh, recent super chats. Thank you very much, guys. Got Rabbit Rob in the house for 16 months. Says, hello, hello there, Rabbit Robbie. 
I'm going to start calling you Rabid Robbie. Sounds cooler, doesn't it? Rabid Robbie. Rabid Robbie in the house tonight. Oh, you know what? I bet our, yep, our harvester's over there. Let's take a break from bailing. I uh, wasn't paying attention. The harvester is full of corn. So we'll go get him unloaded real quick. Oh, man, this thing's full, too. Alrighty, then. Well... Let's go fill the Brockway, then. <clears throat> yeah, I love this trailer. Stinking sweet. Love this uh, auger chaser bin. This thing is awesome. Got the built-in scale. Love it. Yeah, we'll fill this little guy up. Get a little closer. Wow, overshot it. There we go. Need to stop running around so fast. Oh my gosh, we got. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. We got a crap load of booms coming in here. I want to blow your eardrums out. <laughs> uh, um, okay. You like that, Rabbit Robbie? You don't like that. The way you responded makes me think you do not like that. You don't want to be called Bob uh, Rabbit Robbie. Uh, you should be able to mow the stocks down and then rake together. That's what we would do for bailing when I was growing. So you think... I can like mulch. So that would be the same thing as mulching, right, chat? I feel like if I mulch, it's gonna go right over those stalks and chew up all the stalks too, mulch it all. All right, we got a crap load of booms. These are all coming from Scotty Carpenter chat. Massive, massive 10 gifted Big Rig Frosty gaming memberships. And they're just going to keep on flying through here. <clears throat> all right, so let's see who all got one. Scooter's Workbench. Ian Oppenheim. Floyd Stuttenga. Mia Lazzarin. Corey Hansen. Scott Brown. Alex Sayer. Big Mike Senior 09. Stephen Hennon. And Logan Wanamaker. Wanamaker. My bad. Wanamaker. All getting gifted subs from Scotty carpenter with the massive 10 gifted memberships Chase, thank you very much scotty all right i put the volume back up <laughs> i know those booms can get a little loud uh but that lets me know that it went through so that's my reminder that it, it all went through so i can say thank you which i'm very thankful thank you scotty whoo we all right let's see here <laughs> Uh, Tedder, says Rhett. Wait a minute, Tedder? Getting me all conf confused now. Wait wait a minute, what'd you say? Call him Rappin' Robbie. Oh, I don't care, just don't call me late for dinner. All right. What is the anhydrous application? That is just another type of fertilizer. It's more of an American thing. I don't think the uh, British, the, uh, the UKians, I don't think they do that. I don't think they use anhydrous over there. Uh, they might, but I've never heard of them using it. Stevenson would know. Stevenson, are you listening? Do you use anhydrous on your fields over there? Uh, what did you say? I don't know. Uh, first streamer to pronounce my last name correctly. Impressive. Steve Hennon. What do people call you? Heenon? Heenon. Stephen Heenon. It's Hennon. Like John Lennon, but with an H. John Hennon. I like it. Ah, what's that pleasant view? Everybody popped in tonight. You were in here. Simulation Farms was in here. Dal. 
DAHL. He made it in here for his first time ever. That was nice to see him stop by. And then now we got Pleasant View. The Gleaner is all put away. The Gleaner did about 100 acres of soybean pleasant. And he's parked up until next harvest season. We sprayed him down, got the header disconnected, probably do a little uh, maintenance on it, but it's all it's all sitting there looking pretty. A hundred acres of soybean and did it perfectly. The beast of a machine. All right, let's go get some more corn. Oh, you know what? I can go out on the main road. Trying to make uh, everybody dizzy here for a second. There we go. Yeah, let's head out on the main road, bruh. You ready? Yeah. This thing goes a whopping 24 miles an hour. Try not to get a speeding ticket on the way over here. <clears throat> What's up, psycho kid? Hello, hello. Two nights with an Alice. That's right. No, this is the uh, international hat. But it looks similar to the other one. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, but those who might have missed uh, part of the show, man, look how bright that is, the sun and the fog. We knocked out a massive cornfield. One, two, three. This is three, four. Four cornfields knocked out tonight. Not bad. This is the smallest of them all. Does the tether... Are you being funny? <laughs> we don't want to use a tether on this, do we? For the uh, corn swath. I really do want to... If there's a way to do it better, tell me. Uh, maybe you know Pleasant View because you've been on this map. Is there a better way to make it so we can see this darn uh, corn stalk swath? Because I can barely see it. I'm struggling to see What is going on here? Oh, there's a worker in there still. Yeah, I, I can barely see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. New map. Yes, this is uh, Tahitian. Tahitian County. It's based in Iowa. Go. Yeah, there it is. It says right on the sign up there, Tahitian. That's the, uh, the store where you can buy equipment and stuff. Tahitian. Uh, we don't use any anhydrous in the UK. I think it's illegal to use in farming over here due to its risk of exploding. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine uh, Clarkson Farms using anhydrous with his Lamborghini? And who knows how that would turn out. Uh, Pleasant says, yeah, get a different header. Oh, really? We found some of the case headers won't allow it to leave a straw swath. It's it's leaving it. See, it's there. It's just hard to see. See how it's there? Those are my swaths. I just didn't know if there's something I need to do to make it easier to see. And they're very low to the ground. Like There's like barely any... Uh, Trajectory? Is that the proper word to use? what Tony say? I'm not surprised you guys drive on the wrong... Exactly. They do drive on the wrong side of the road over there. So that, yeah, that explains that. Let's have this guy follow us. So we're not just driving around with each piece of equipment. Try to get more things done at once, right? Yeah, I just didn't know. Maybe it's just hard to see all the time. I don't know. There we go. <clears throat> 
something with the case. Oh, something with the case headers mess up the st Oh, I gotcha. So it's just the case headers that are doing it, huh? Well, that sucks. Because <laughs> I love this harvester. Hang on. Well, I'll have to test out the uh, gleaner next time when I do corn. Dang it, Bobby. not going to be able to fit through the gate over there, so we'll have to s drive around this way. I got all my corn done. Alright. So he's also going to need sprayed down. This header, unfortunately, doesn't fold, I don't think. Yeah, this is a, stays the way it is, unfortunately. Well, let's get her sprayed down, look at this. Oh, that's right, daddy. I got those booms coming in again, don't we? <laughs> Just leave them sit there for now. Dismiss worker. We'll get the rest of this drained into the Brockway truck. Aaron Ashlock coming in with five gifted memberships. Thank you very much, Xiao. Everybody getting gifted subs tonight. Thank you, buddy. Uh, we got one going to Andrew Overdorf. Pleasant View Farms getting one. Channing Hensley. Uh, Brandon Nahuis. And Corey Goodrow. All getting gifted memberships from the wonderful Pleasant View Farms. Thank you. Or not Pleasant. What did I just say? from the wonderful Aaron Ashlock. My brain's getting all twisted right now, chat. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Pleasant received one. Aaron gave one. Gave five total. Thank you, buddy. All right. What do we got here? Logan says, thank you for the gifted sub. Pleasant says, you can use the harvester, but maybe off camera test some headers and you'll be surprised how big of a windrow. Oh, really? Dang. I wish I would have known that yesterday and I would have uh, switched over that dang it dang it dang it dang it that's interesting huh that the case headers that why that's kind of weird isn't it huh. that corn could feed a bunch of people well, I'm, I reckon it would yeah yep yep I love how corny you are thank you thank you I try my best Sound booms incoming. Yes, very loud, isn't it? I, I don't. I, I can't figure out what I did to my volumes. They never were like that, and all of a sudden they are. Just don't know why. All right, one more load of corn, and that'll be all the corn harvest finished. Get the rest in there. All right, we got the rest in there. Beautiful. Got the old flapper exhaust. She goes. There she goes. Beautiful. I live in New York and I'm a Boston fan. Hey, whatever floats your boat, you know. One of the guys on the server had a case combine and he put my John Deere header on his combine and it left the proper windrow. So he sold it and bought a different header. 
one that worked. Interesting. Yeah, maybe I'll just stick a different header on that harvester. Too bad the Mac Dons don't have corn headers, because I like the Mac Don, the regular headers, but I don't think there's a Mac Don corn header, is there? Because that's black, and it would match the uh, case good. <clears throat> All right. We are done with that. Let's get this tarp closed up. We got the electric tarp. Yeah, I think sweet. That is so cool. All harvesting finished. Can't believe it. That took forever. I'm going to get all this stuff checked out. We're going to check the chaser bin, make sure it's up and running, get it maintenanced, and the challenger all looked at before the next harvest season. We'll just park her in here. Beautiful. Nice, nice combo though, right? Not bad, not bad. All right, cool. What am I doing? Bailing. Ah, I gotta finish bailing those nasty little swaths I made. <laughs> ah, pain in the butt. <clears throat> All right, where did I leave the Alice? Oh, Pleasant, I, I've got all your stuff working tonight. The D21 was running grain carts earlier. We got the 8,000 here uh, doing the bailing, which has been painful. Not not because of the tractor, but because of the stinking swath. Well, that's nice to know. So I definitely have to make sure we switch the corn headers for next corn harvest. That is something we're going to have to do, chat. Because this is hard. To, this is painful. It is too hard to say. I'm having a lot of trouble. But at least it's working. At least it's letting us bail it, even though it's hard to see. So we're getting something out of it, right? This field's almost finished. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, we only got two swipes to do. Then we'll uh, head over to that little field, get that all scraped up real quick, and that'll be all our corn stalks cleaned up. Yeah, there's our final swipe. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Kevin Floor. Floor, what are you doing sending another one, you crazy animal? We got another big bomb. I'm not going to play the alert this time because I'm probably blowing some eardrums out tonight. But we do have Kevin Flores with another $20 super chat. He says, it has always been a pleasure tuning in and supporting the stream. Your community is like family, and I'm friends with a bunch of them. When you were checking in on the taped streams, were you on the toilet? <laughs> What are you talking about, bro? What you talking about? I, I would never. I would never do that. <laughs> Jeez. What are, you, what are you talking about? Maybe. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Stop it. But thank you, Kevin. Yeah, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. You and many others... I've been here for a long time. Lots of you know each other very well just by hanging out in the chat. So uh, it's it's uh, we are like one big uh, weird dysfunctional type of family. We got we got our yeah you know yeah it's kind of like that. I like it though. It keeps keeps me uh, keeps my brain turning and working for the most part. So we, we appreciate you too, Kevin, and everybody else. 
Uh, that's definitely a yes of Stevenson. A little toilet humor. Eh, you just, you know, you never know. No. A lot of work can be done in the restroom. You don't just have to sit there and, like, stare at the ceiling. You can get things done, you know? Might as well. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Paul Wright uh, becoming... Did, you were already a member, right? I think you resubmitted your membership. Paul Wright, because he's got the chicken, which means he's been a member for over, at least six months. So uh, thank you very much, Paul Wright, becoming a Jack Whacker level two. Your support is appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Paul Wright. I hope you enjoyed my serenading. Thank you. Uh, what about me, though? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Lewis says, I miss Facebook, House Flipper, NASCAR, Yellow Flag Simulator, and Steerman. I'm, out of all those, I miss Steerman the most. I just played House Flipper uh, two nights ago. Monday night, I played House Flipper. So you must have missed that. Uh, NASCAR, I don't miss that so much. I don't really miss that a whole lot, to be honest. That was kind of painful. Uh, it was, like, so hard to get a few laps in without someone wrecking, so... And sometimes it was my fault. <laughs> but, yeah, that was kind of brutal. But there were some good memories with the NASCAR. There, there were some good ones. I just loved how there was always, like, one or two people trying to play a NASCAR game with a mouse and keyboard. Like, really? Are you really going to join a lobby and play NASCAR with a mouse and keyboard. Do you really think that's going to go well for you? Like, come on. Really? Even controllers pushing it. Like, you almost need a wheel to play that game without causing mayhem. Yeah, the, like Pleasant View, this... this I, I can barely see what I'm doing. This is so painful. Uh, thank you for the tip. I did not know that the uh, case headers were causing issues. So I'm glad I found that out. Because <clears throat> this is horrendous. It's horrendous. Frosty, are you going to get back to Western Wilds? I mean, I probably will, but we have conquered that map. I mean, I might go back to it. I'll be honest, I have no desire for it at the moment. Just because of how far we got. But it's not over. I won't say it's over. I just, right now, I'm enjoying this map. I like this map a lot. I, I want to kind of do some work on this for a little while and mix in some other stuff, other games. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's where I'm at on that. Oh, choo choo train. A choo choo train's awesome. Look at how big that thing is. Look at all the car. Look at the detail on it. Look how nice that looks. That's a legit train chat. That's really cool. Are you done with Payday 3 on Pew Pew? Uh, I don't know if I'm done with it. I just... I don't know. I might play it again someday, yeah. I wanted to do a pew pew stream this previous weekend. I just, I was whipped from the trip and just needed to get everything ready for this week and not rush anything, so. But uh, this weekend we'll probably most likely have a uh, pew pew stream. All right, I think we're done bailing, chat. Didn't get a whole lot of bails out of this. Like, barely any. <laughs> hey. Yeah, we got one bale sitting on that field. This entire field, I didn't even realize the swath wasn't, like, activated. So we missed out on a lot of corn stock on this field. <laughs> but altogether, I think we only got, like, five bales. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Not too good. What are you playing tomorrow, says Duan Baker. I, it, my, okay, I got 
approved for, I think it's called... I think it's called Beer Simulator. Beer... I forget. Beer something. But it's really cool. It's like the realistic uh, way of making beer. And it's a simulator. And it's a play test. That I got approved for. I, I think anybody can get approved for it. I can't remember. But I asked to get the play test. And I want to play it. It looks... I've already played the demo. And I loved playing the demo. So now I'm going to maybe stream the play test for that tomorrow night it's called something like that beer beer something i don't know we'll be making some beer that's all i know all right we'll take a little break from uh farming we did that two days in a row not that i'm complaining about that i am totally fine with farming but i just i really do want to try that game out I think you guys will like it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, bruh. Bruh? You know what I'm saying, bruh? Well, now that I know this header's jacked up, let's sell it. That'll remind me next harvest that I need to get a different one. Maybe you guys will remember that. Because I know I won't. <laughs> and right. But I definitely want to keep this harvester because I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get him put away. Now that harvesting's done. Yo yo. Parker right up against the old glaner. Lights off. Power it down. Bada bing, a bada boom. All right, I'm gonna hop into a big truck. God, you know what? I don't really want to take this. I need like, a tr I don't even know what I need. I need like a crappy work truck. Like one that's for going in the fields and getting dirty and not caring much about. Something just work truckish. See what we can find here. Something cheap too. Just a crappy old truck. What do you think, chat? Can we find a crappy old truck just for taking out in the fields? That one kind of has got. I, I kind of like that one. I've used that before. That's a good one. Uh, beer factory that's it beer factory yes man that's fun the demo was awesome and now i'm going to play the play test tomorrow night so make sure you tune in for that around 8 p.m eastern it's going to be a good time come on uh my grandpa owns a brewery in western kansas make sure you tune in tomorrow and, and let me know if i'm doing anything wrong with that there's nothing wrong with farming scooty you're right uh you're talking about yes beer factory yes 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 uh, let's see. Hey, Stevenson, that means... Uh, uh, are you done with pay... Yeah, I read that chat generates some humor. It does. It tries to. It tries to. Sometimes I fail, but I try. WH, hello. Uh, that's what that Ford is for. <laughs> he forgot about them pot belly pigs. I didn't forget. We're going to get to it eventually. Just let me find a crappy truck real quick. Uh... <sighs> Ooh. It's not a crappy truck, but... Do we go Chevy Bison or GMC General? Kind of like those options there. These are all nice trucks. The price keeps going higher. Yeah, let's do... Let's do the GMC General. I use the Chevy Bison on another, I think on the white farm series. And I'm not even going to get too crazy with the setup here. We're going to do the rim color. Oh, we could even go with a crappy black. Eh. What kind of wheels? Yeah, let's... I kind of want to just put some steelies on there. Wheel set up. Oh, let me change the stinking rims. 
Are you kidding me? I can't change the rims. Oh, you little dirt ball. I don't want all that stuff. Just give me my regular... There we go. Engine set up. I do want to have some power to cut through the fields. Is that real? Is there really no wheel options? Come on! Oh. Steelies don't look like that and white. These are like ones that you'd want chrome. Yeah. But I don't want chrome. We'll just go black. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Where's my truck at? Dang it. Oh, crap. Where's my truck at? Oh, my gosh. Am I really parked all the way over here? I ain't, I ain't doing that. Here, let's reset our uh, thingamajiggy. White rims, those are Alco wheels. Yeah, they don't look, yeah, right. They don't look good in white. So I'll just go with the black. I was hoping I could get some old steelies, you know, but I couldn't find any. Uh, let's see, there's my trip. I'm gonna reset that over here. So we don't have to drive all night long to bring it back over here. There we go. Yep. Beautiful. This is what I wanted. Nice interior. And this will be for uh, running in the fields with my uh, flatbed to pick up bales. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I like to roll, daddy. Come on, get her done. Oh, rear end's messed up. Forgot to put mud flaps on her. <laughs> you can't cheat, Frosty. Store, white, Bobo. Uh Oh, what used to be white, Big Rig Frosty. Hello, what's up, KJ Wiggums? What? A GMC General? That's right, see? GMC General. Right there. I did forget to put some mud flaps on there. I think I think I can do, change that. It's got interactive controls, too. Let me see here. Yeah, there's my mud flaps. Put some GMC flaps on there. Racks, wet kit. We'll put the uh, wet kit on there just in case we ever want to hook it up to uh, <clears throat> some. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. Some of the other uh, trailers we have. Eh, we'll just stick to the 105 gallon. There you go. There we go. Now we got mud flappers. That looks nice. Yeah. Huh. All right, let's go pick up our corn stalk bales. It is getting so dark on us, isn't it? Oh, now that the things are fixed, we can switch back to, uh, to heating. There you go. Now we're back to the colors, the lighting from the original, which I think is better than what we were just on. There we go. Farm all cab over. Now let's run over and get that one random bale in that little baby field. So all I should have to do is put it into operating position and we'll start scooping up some bales. I 
should have took the, the main road. Dang it. Train's a hefty one, huh? I have my game on real time. I've been in the dark since the stream started, <laughs> have you? Nice. Yeah, I have mine on half 0.5, which is very, very slow. Right, we'll try not to cross the tracks coming out of here. So, are you kidding me? This veil is not supported. Oh, get out of here. I will shove that thing right on here. Operating position. I will just pick this son of a... I'm going to pick it up. Shove it on there like that. I ain't playing that game, bro. I ain't playing that game. <laughs> nice. Uh, but here's the... Uh, I'm going to get myself stuck. Yep. Should have known that was going to happen. But here's the uh, sales place. The tractor sales. And this is where you can buy stuff. The main store on the map. And it's got equipment laying everywhere. Super cool. Nice and detailed. We got mowers, tractors, vehicles, customers. Big truck backed into the dock making a delivery. Like, pretty, pretty darn cool, right? Pretty fancy. All right, let's bring this back to the house. Can't see a darn thing. Yeah. Alright, we live right here. Nice short drive. <clears throat> Alright, a few more bales to pick up. Superman farming, that's right, we have to. The auto bale's not supporting the uh, the corn stalk bales or maybe it's not supporting this, the 125 size of the bale that's probably what it is probably only does like 180 round and up I don't know kind of sucks though I gotta pick them all up <clears throat> there we go gotta do that for each one we don't have many, though, chat. It's, there's not many at all. We got two over there and one here. And there's only five bales total. Pretty slim pickings on the bales. And these bales have 10,000 liters each. Which is pretty darn good. There's a pole there. Yes, it is. What's up, Jim Waiton? Where's he at? Good evening, Frosty and Chap. What's up, Daddy? Don't need them with a trailer. I have my game. I'd read that. You can't cheat, GMC, Big Rig. Those are Alco. All right, I'm all caught up on chat. Crappy truck equals Volvo. They are garbage. So oh, why do you say? Have you ever even driven a Volvo? Huh? Don't be saying something if you haven't driven one. Anybody that I've ever heard that has driven a Volvo says they're awesome. Just because they don't look good doesn't mean they're crap. Seriously, everybody that's ever said they've driven a Volvo truck, like the newer one, the conventional ones, they say they, they run very nice. They're super roomy. Lots of space. Very comfortable. So you just saying that just because you think they're ugly? Because they are ugly. They are not good looking trucks. 
think that's it. That's the last bail. 50, that, see that doesn't look like much there, but that's 50,000 liters of corn stock. That's actually quite a bit of uh, corn. Oh, and there's a bale there. I, I didn't realize we had another one. Six bales, that's 60,000 liters, daddy. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yep, did not want to load them this way, but auto trailer didn't work for me, so. It is what it is. 60,000 liters there. You love the Volvo you drove? 10 speed in general are terrible. The 10 speeds, oh, any truck that's a 10 speed is not much fun. A Volvo is made with Mac, they partnered. I drove a 10 speed LO Volvo dump truck. Does that count? Did you like it or did you not like it? You will delete it like you did his fence. What did I delete? The trailer? <laughs> yeah, I probably will sell this trailer. Now I just have to make, uh, I think, bigger size bales. Let me see. Let's see what the reason is. Let's see. What would that be under? Uh, oh, I think I leased it, actually. There it is. This trailer can support bales. I see. 180. So it can auto load bales, just not the size of bale that I have. I have 125s and it only picks up 180s in the rounds. So next time I just have to make sure we're making 180s, which would be, oh man, the 180 is the one that does like 50,000 liters for one bale. So that's why I switched it to 125 so you guys could at least see what the heck these things look like. You know what I mean? So that's why I did that. All right, we're done with that. Done with that. Lights off. Woo! So we got all the fields done. The pig, all right. See, the pigs already have food. Here's the thing. The pigs already have food. I said we'd go feed them, but you know what? I'd rather get at least one or two fields of anhydrous put down because that's what the title of my stream even said tonight was finish corn harvesting and anhydrous application. So I feel like we should hop on that and at least get one or two fields done. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. The pigs already got some food. They're going to be fine. Uh, Jim says I haul a container one day and a van the next uh, every Volvo driver. <clears throat> Even though they are stronger than a 13 or 18, 10 speed in general, haul container, how's it going, Ian? They break down a lot at FedEx, do they? All right, so we got some good stories and we got some bad stories about Volvos. But the good news is we have a new haul in here hooked up to an anhydrous setup. We got anhydrous ammonia. So this is gonna work like a fertilizer application. Just need to unfold these big boys right here. And we will do this ourselves. We're not gonna hire a worker. Just gonna get her done. And you activate it. You'll listen if you listen, you might be able to hear it. Do I have it selected? All right, so it's on. Can you hear that? Off. Now we're gonna turn it on. <laughs> kind of like releasing the uh, the pressure. You can hear it kind of. All right, lower it. So it's gonna cultivate and it's gonna inject some uh, nitrogen with the anhydrous now from what i've seen 
I don't see any uh, applications showing up for precision farming. But it is using fertilizer, as you can see on the bottom right. It's slowly uh, depleting on the bar of fertilizer there. I am going to set up some straight lines for us. So we'll turn on this. Turn on that. And get some straight lines going. I should be able to go right across into the other field. If I do this the right way. Yep, this should be perfect. So we'll be knocking two fields out at once here. <laughs> Very nice. Yep, good enough for me. Even if I don't hit that little edge there, I'm not too concerned about that. As long as we got the majority of it. <clears throat> uh, What's up, Jeremiah Marpole? Richard Hollenbeck says, hey, Frosty. What's up, Daddy? Ian W. from Australia. You should be getting a fertilizer state, though. Oh, yeah? It's not giving me one. Deactivate automatic application rate. I don't know. Let's check something here. So this part of the field says 40... This is our... What? What? This says perfect nitrogen already. And this says 25. So the, the nitrogen's perfect here. And then it lowers over here. I, I don't know. Uh, you should be getting a fertilizer state. No. Hey, Frosty. I, oh, hey. Uh, have you had any problems with your anhydrous getting getting stolen? Is that a joke? Getting stolen? What you talking about? Getting stolen. Huh. Let's check out precision map. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Because this section here, I already did. And it looks red. It looks just like the other ones. <clears throat> Nothing's changing. That's kind of scary. Does that mean it's not working? <laughs> don't ignore that. You'll regret it. Very strange. Did you buy soil samples? Yes. Yep, I have all the soil sam samples. Interesting. So do I not even need to f stink and do this or what? What do you think? What do you think? It says perfect because soybean doesn't need... I know, but uh, yeah, true. But this is, this is after the fact. Like I already harvested the soybean. So either way, it's prepping it, right? Do you have the correct config for the cultivator? The correct config for the cultivator. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I mean, there was only like two two options. I don't know. I have no idea. It's right here. I bought this and I bought this. That's it. So this is the uh, tank that holds it, and then this is the cultivator. The high concentration nitro nitrogen equates to more valuable nutrients for the plant and bond to moisture in the soil for a long period of time. A cultivator prepares fields for the next sowing. Anhydrous ammonia application provides many benefits to farming operations. No nitro after beans. It's in the bean roots. Oh. Oh. You need the anhydrous ready for... Oh, dang it. All right. Then we're wasting our time, huh? I'll have to uh, make sure I download that for next time. Yeah. Well, I'll be darned. 
That's all right. We'll uh, plow the fields instead. They need they need a fresh plowing done, I guess. Yeah, I didn't realize I needed uh, something different for that. All right, that's okay. It's all good. Let's drop that right here. You live and you learn. Go, wait a minute. Go into the, I, okay. Dow Farms just said I need a, a precision farming anhydrous. Scooter saying go into the config part. Go into the config part of the tool. Like the customizing part, is that what you mean? You don't need the Precision Ready NH3. Precision Farming updated the core code months ago. Okay, so you're saying something in here needs changed. Is that what you mean? All right, so here's what I got. Fertilizing cultivator configuration. Side dresser. So does it need to be a side dresser instead of a fertilizing cultivator? Is that what you mean? Uh, what's up, Paul Edward Detweiler? Corn needs it badly, though. They make in hydrous ammonia at Mississippi Chemical in Yazoo City. I believe you can find it on DJ Zitch, the guy who released UMRV, says Dow. I'm getting confused now because we got two different uh, recommendations, so I don't really know which one to do. <laughs> Uh, Garrett says, I had to plow my fields before in order to get it to work. It was saying the same. For oh, okay. That's what I was wondering is maybe I need to plow in the old soybean stubble and then use the cultivator and ammonia to uh, get the change. I don't know. Why don't we test it out? Why don't we test it out real quick? Shut this down for a moment. And we're going to get the... Uh, we'll get the John Deere out. At the 8RX. <laughs> He's more smarter than you. Oh, I appreciate the uh, advice from both of you. I just don't... I'm confused on what to do. Uh, one stacks is they have tools and anhydrous tanks already in the map for you to use. Yeah, that's that's what I'm using. That's that's what it is, uh, Mac. That stuff I'm using is part of this map. I have never used that stuff before. I've never seen it until I downloaded this map and the stuff that came with it. So that whole setup there, that is part of this map. Um, that's why I was excited to try it out. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll plow a little bit. We'll test it out and see what happens here. So that's the quickest way to find out, right? Come on, look up. All right, let's do it on a clean section over here. This big bad boy set up. <clears throat> All right, drop it like it's hot. All right. We got a nice, fresh, plowed state. We're going to take a timeout. All right, let's look at the ground now. So nitrogen is at 25. pH is horrible. All right. If I stand over in this section, nitrogen is perfect, but that's because of the previous soybean crop. So this is more of a test to see if the precision part works. All right, so 25. Now we're just going to fire this back up, 
connect the uh, anhydrous and run it across that section and just see what happens. See if that is what needed to be done. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, the precision map doesn't even pop up like it usually does on the bottom left. It's not even popping up at all. So let's see if it pops up on a freshly plowed field. If not, then I don't know. I have no idea. Ooh, it looks nice. All right, so I did a little bit of that. So here's the fresh plowed at 25. Now we're going to go right here. And thirty um, five. So maybe it added ten. All right, this says twenty five all through this little section. Or does it? I, I don't know. It's like moving all over the place. But the thing is, it's not showing the darn uh, map change. And when I look down here, nitrogen's still showing as red. So I, I have no idea. I probably am missing something. <clears throat> I have 12.12 .12 hours on the map, says Aaron. I meant you don't have to buy them. They're sitting at the anhydrous place down the road. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Hello and good day. Hello, TFA. Uh, go try on corn stubble. Previous bean field, no till corn in. Try corn stubble. Okay. Okay. I'll try that. I'm stuck on a tree. I'm going to be all jacked up here. Ow! All right. Let's try it on the corn stubble. I'm going to have to at least plow. I don't think I can direct. I think the corn has to be plowed first. Nothing showing up on this screen either, chat. We'll <clears throat> uh, plow just a little section of corn. I don't know. Make it a side dresser. You son of a biscuit head. <laughs> All right. That took him a long time to tell me to change it to a side dresser. <laughs> All right. Side dresser. Configuration has been changed. Still not showing up on the bottom left. And I'm still not getting any application rates. Let's cross over into the uh, soybean. Still not getting anything there either. Is it because this tractor doesn't have whatchamacallit on it? Is it the tractor's fault? I don't stinkin' know. Turn it on. All right, it's on. Twenty-five. 
I don't, I don't know. It's not turned on or lowered. Yeah, I, I, I figured that out. It's on, it's lowered. I can see the uh, color change on the liquid there. But no change on the uh, map. All right, let's try the corn. Let's try a little section of corn here. So I got my section of corn plowed in. That's reading at zero nitrogen. Zero. Not a, not a, even a speck or a nipple drip. All right. Now we're going to head over there with this. And see what happens here. We're going to lower, turn on. I'm applying the application into the plowed area. It does not change the texture of the ground because it doesn't have a cultivator built into it. We just have the dressing. All right, so zero. Now we're going to walk over the parts we applied fertilizer to and it's still at zero so it did absolutely nothing all right so that's i think i'll just do what a uh, dow farm said and probably download the anhydrous thing he was talking about and just see what happens maybe that is something i'll need i don't i have no idea i really don't know I don't know. I'm just being honest. I have no idea. But uh, next time we're on this series, <laughs> we will uh, hopefully have it all figured out so we can continue working in these stinking fields. But that is probably going to do it for the night. We are at the two and a half hour mark, and we are going to call her a night. I'll try to get this all figured out for next time so we can... Uh, Get all these fields prepped and ready for seeding or planting, whichever route we go with whatever crops we decide to go with. But, uh, yeah, interesting, huh? I think that is what I'm missing. Do you have the premium expansion off? The premium expansion off? I have it, I don't have the DLC activated, if that's what you mean. Yeah. I think that's... I do remember reading that. Yeah, I don't have... Yeah. None of that stuff's activated. So that shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. Because I don't have it activated. Uh, Adam Small. I think I forgot to say thank you. I'm sorry, buddy. Adam Small. Uh, becoming a member. Are you still listening? I'm sorry, Adam. I didn't mean to uh, forget about you. Thank you, Adam. Coming a brand new member. That was a while ago. I feel bad now. I feel bad. I must have been in the caught up in something earlier. But thank you, buddy. <clears throat> uh, are you doing? Try one of the toolbars that Dr. put in the map. Maybe that'll work. That, that's what I'm saying. I thought this is the toolbars he put in. Is this not it? One stack Mac. Is this the stuff that came with this map? Isn't this the stuff that came with it? I've never seen this stuff ever until I downloaded the stuff for this map. I've never had this activated before. Now that's it, right? I don't know. 
Unless there's something else hiding somewhere that I'm I should be using. I, I have I really don't know. I have no idea. I just thought that's the stuff that came with this. I do not see anything else. Uh, I can check in fertilizer, sprayers. Nothing there. Fertilizer, spreaders, nothing there. <clears throat> Yeah, that's got to be what is part of the map. Uh, he has them over by the store, I think. Have a great night. You too, Josh Rutledge. No promises that that will work, but I hope it does. See you later. Definitely have a new watcher. Well, thank you, Dow Family Farms. I appreciate you. He's already, yeah, he's already got some sitting over there. All right, let's go look at him. But I'm done for the night, I'm just saying. But I'll look at him. So you're talking about the store over here. Uh, let's see. You talking about the Anhydrous store? That's way down yonder on the Chattahoochee somewhere. I forget what road that's on. I think it's... I think it's way down here somewhere. Look at all that harvesting we did. Holy crap. That's a lot of soybean we knocked out. <clears throat> I think it's down this road. Or maybe it's on the other road. I don't know. Somewhere I don't know. Yeah, it's way over on the other road. I think it's way across this side. Uh, down the road. That's where you asked me to go. Down the road. That's a good song. Uh, so many roads. This map is massive. Yeah, crap. See, I don't. I don't remember where it's at. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'll find it, though. I'll go check it out for next time, and then uh, hopefully we'll get it working. I think it's down this road. Way down here. Nope. Not down that road. <laughs> uh, no Vermont, Maine, New York, New Hampshire maps yet. Close to where the road's blocked off. Oh, way over here. There it is. Oh, my gosh. I flew around like twice. All right, so right over here. It's the same stinking thing I have. That's the same thing, chat. That's literally the same thing I'm hooked up to. The Bank Enterprises TB37 Cultivator. And then over here in my inventory, or not my inventory, my, where, I, where I'm working here, I have the TB60 Cultivator. TB60 Cultivator. And this, this is the TB37. All that means is it's a smaller width. It's, it's not as wide. It's the same stinking tool. And then here's the bigger one. Yeah, this is the bigger one just painted red. I have a blue one. This is a red one. I've got this set of tanks hooked up. It's I got the same exact setup, Jet. Same exact equipment. So. Doug Barber. <sighs> I'm going to smack your nipples off, bro. I'm going to smack everybody's nipples off. Okay. This. This right here. In the store. Right there. That right there. That came with the map. I bought that from the store. This comes with the map. It's in the store to purchase. It's by DR Modding. It's it's comes with the map, is what I'm trying to tell you. 
Okay? Jeez! So yeah, I don't know. But yeah. I'll try this out too, I guess. But not tonight. <laughs> alright, I'm always late. It's alright, Phil. It's alright. We're just trying to figure out this anhydrous situation. It's, uh... Acting up on us. But who knows? Maybe it's just because... I, I don't. I really don't know why. I have no idea. I don't know. But yeah, that's the same exact thing. Look, TB60. There's the double tank that we just looked at over at the other place. It's the same exact setup. Exact setup. And it comes with the map. Uh, just trying to help you out. I know what you're saying. I'm just playing with you. I'm not really mad at anybody. It's just frustrating because it's the same exact thing. So something's going wrong. Uh, that NHA3 mod is from Collins Custom, but it's required mod for the map. Someone mute Duan Maker for bad advice. <laughs> Don't you threaten my... I will. I will. I'm trying to get these narrow soybeans gone before bed. Do it. I'm first. Lifts shirt to expose... Oh, thank you, Rhett. Appreciate that. I feel fancy when I say anhydrous. Me too. It's a very fancy word. But you know what's even fancier? is tuning in tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern for more content. We will not be farming tomorrow. We will be playing Beer Factory, and it's going to be fun because I already played the demo, and it was fun. So that's what we're doing around 8 p.m. Eastern for our Thursday night show. All right? All right. I do appreciate all the advice. Always do. I learn something new every time I play this game, especially when we've got... 40, close to 50 gigs of mods activated. It can get quite interesting. Uh, I could cut glass right now with how much you're threatening us. Hey, <laughs> John, you calm down, okay? Uh, try buying the plant. I don't know, just guessing. Try buying the plant. Yeah, we'll figure something out. I don't know. But uh, we got a lot done. We got all the corn and the soybean finished. All my fields are completely harvested, so now it's the... Uh, flipping process where we prep the fields to get drilled with a uh, some type of crop or planted with something. So that'll probably be what we try to get going on the next episode. And feeding the pigs. Getting more soybean transported over to the pig fattening farm. Alright. I'm out of here, chat. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. All the super chats, all the memberships, uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, as always. <clears throat> but yeah, tune in for that game tomorrow. It'll, it'll be fun, all right? You'll get to learn how beer is made. It's pretty cool, all right? I'm out of here. See you later. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all the other fun things in the world that can happen on holidays and stuff like that. So I'll see you Thursday. Nighty night. See you later, chat. Oh, hit the like button if you want on the way out. We had over 200 reactions, and that's really nice. I like that. Thank you. Goodbye. See you later.